the Celtics? No, it was very fitting. You know, it's, uh, it's funny how those, you know, sports always seems to have those poetic stories, you know. Something like this happens, and you just so happen to play the Celtics the next game. Uh, Steve Nash and Dwight Howard, 16 of 20 combined from the field. How were they so effective? Well, I think they did a great job getting in the teeth of the defense. And, uh, you know, Steve was just knocking down shots that he normally makes. And, um, you know, Dwight was extremely active. You know, and, uh, um, you know, rolling to the basket. And, you know, um, when he caught paint catches, he was able to go to his jump hook and finish. Paul Pierce had 23 points in the first half. You held him to three points in the second half. What were the adjustments you made on him? Well, we talked about coming out and, and being more aggressive with him. You know, it's uh, you know, one thing I said at halftime is because you know is that we can't rely on him to cool off. He's not going to cool off. You know, if you, if you give him those looks, he's going to continue to make those, and then we're going to have a problem. So. Yeah, we got to do things defensively to get after them a little bit. First game back from the All-Star break, balance scoring, seven guys in double figures. What clicked offensively? Um, nothing that hasn't been clicking the last you know, nine games where it's been out of the last 13. I mean, we've just, you know, we just been playing pretty well. We've just been moving the ball and attacking. The opportunity presents itself, and uh, we've been playing well. What did it mean to you throughout the course of the game to look down at your right shoulder and see that face well it's, uh, well, it's a huge honor um, to play for this organization. Uh, you know, everything that he's built. And you, you look around and you look at all the trophies, you look at all the parades and um, all the support that we have and what this organization means. I mean, that all came from one man, you know, and his vision. And, um, you know, and, and his vision is just, you know, transcended the game. It, it became pop culture, you know, and it's... Um, yeah, the impact is a global one. Kobe, when you were out there, I mean, you've had moments, championships, where you're center court, where you make big baskets. You were center court tonight doing something a bit different, talking about Dr. Buss. What was that like for you? Um, I, I just wanted to try to um, verbalize, and, you know, in a short amount of time, um, you know, his significance. And, you know, what he means to, to me and what he means to us and try to put things in perspective uh, a little bit. And the emotional moment, was it emotional for you? I, I was trying to, did you have tears in the No, I, I, didn't, I didn't have tears, but I, you know, <clears throat> it's obviously emotional because of, you know, it, it's, um, look, man, I've been a Laker fan since I was six years old. Man, so, and um, I've seen him many times in the, in the locker room celebrating with Magic and, and Kareem and Baby B and all those guys. And, um, you know, the, to play for him when I finally met him was a huge, huge honor. And then to carry on for my career for, you know, 17 years and to know him personally the way I have, it's, uh, you know, it's been, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of great memories. Kobe, were you able to take a peek up and look into his suite and see that illuminated chair? And if you did, oh, always what, did. and if you did, what were your thoughts? Um, that he will be missed, but we got to continue to carry his, you know, carry on what he built and carry it on the right way and represent him the right way. Kobe, talk about Dwight Howard's night. You have to be happy with his aggressiveness uh, throughout the game. Yeah, he was very aggressive. He was very active. And, um, you know, he, was, uh, he was big for us on the offensive glass, on the defensive glass. You know, he, he controlled the paint defensively for us. And um, you know, we got a pick and roll game going, which got him a lot of easy opportunities and you know, kept the defense off balance. So, yeah, it, was just a, it was just a great game by him. Kobe, do you agree that that's the closest that Dwight was tonight to being the Dwight you want him to be? Um, yeah, I, mean, I guess so. Especially yeah. the first half. Yeah, no, I guess so. I mean, he, he's uh, he's extremely active. I mean, some things that we talked about in practice yesterday. Yesterday was really the first time we had a practice in a long time, and uh, we had a really, really good practice. We really worked on some things, and um, we executed extremely well. And you saw a lot of things in practice yesterday that transpired tonight in terms of the pick and rolls and rolling and slipping them to the basket and. Um, you know, now defenses have to cover. Now we're hitting shooters, and um, yeah, it's. Uh, we, 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 I think the practice yesterday had a lot to do with it. How much revenge was uh, on the minds of this locker room from what happened in Boston as well? I think it was on our minds. It was definitely on my minds. You know, on my mind. I mean, they, they they beat us pretty good up there, and you know, we certainly wanted to return the favor. Thoughts on the bench as you have 27 more games ahead. Yeah, you know, our bench is playing well. They're coming in and doing a job. I, th I thought um, Steve Blake came in and just did a terrific job. Antoine's been consistent for us. And, and we just got to keep it going.
You gonna worry about the trade deadline for yourself tonight, Douglas? Trembling. <laughs>